So apparently Jamie got a package and we're gonna go look at it. Why am I not focused? We just got a package. That's how you treat yourself? Treat myself? First and foremost, I almost hit. First and foremost, why don't you talk about who gave it to you? Well, that's what we open it here for. <laughs> that's Bruiser. Why did you have to go up against my, my leg, bro? Just for the family at Bruiser. Watch out, wait. Oh. Got it? I like your stuff, how they fit. If you want to send any packages to us and the boys, 3500, it's Magnolia. Bunch of stickers, we need stickers. They sent me this nice shirt. Nice pyramid. Oh, that's stitching. Illuminati boys. It's dope, I like it. Thank you, Bruisers. Bruiser. Their thing is... Their Instagram is Bruiser Clothing. B R U I S E R. Bow. It's a nice stitch. Bruisers B R U I S E R. Clothing at Instagram. So shout out to them. Dope ass little t shirt. They usually send me more clothes. But then this is like. They just did this one. I like it, but low key. It's like. It's a diamond upside down and a triangle upside up. It looks cool. I like the little design on it. So that shouts to Bruiser. If you, that, they're big boy friendly clothes. So all my big guys out there that ask me where I get clothing, publish, Bruiser's a shirt, anything Mac Park shirt, and shouts to Free Range for this one and Diamond. I want to get sponsored by Diamond low key. So. It's been a little bit of a hectic day. By the way, this is a sample hat that we will be doing for our one year anniversary for Mag Park. We're having a big like, like big like block party type of thing. I'm gonna give out a few invitations on here, by the way, as the day approaches. But right now, we had to leave the store because I'm heading to go do this podcast with Jerry. Yeah, boy Jerry, we gotta do that today. Um, it's gonna be a fun time. I'll definitely record clips of it, not all of it. You guys will be able to hear it on the Apple Music or the Apple Podcast app. Bad for Business is his uh, podcast name. So I'm heading over there. Luckily, he lives like five minutes away from the store. So it's great. But yeah, that's what we're doing today. Let's go. You, I want to say, became famous but got known for a special talent, right? And, yeah. And well, I was known for blindfold yourself, and someone could come. And I, now I have to say, we do this on the Ellen Show. We're not going to say what shoes because that's that's we want to spoil yeah. it. You were plugging the get like they're yeah. unbelievable. So Jamie Bree, blindfold him, could hold up a certain pair of shoes. I've seen this with my own eyes. Hand in front of his face, I fucking, I, I fake went to go snuff him. He didn't move, so it's he did the, it, he did the, uh, the Barnes ball. Yeah, you what they are. Have you ever been way wrong? No. Have no. you ever been wrong in general? Like you missed maybe one or two, or you pretty like? I'm pretty. I have not missed one. So we're here with my man Jerry Ferrara. We just did the podcast. You just did. You were the guest on the podcast. <laughs> <man. We're laughs> anyway, uh, he has gems. These are gems in the secret room. Do you, do you understand what's here? I do. Uh, I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, when this arrived, I didn't know what to expect. I heard about it. I know some people. How did you hear about it? Let's hear that. I just, I think I saw it maybe on Twitter or something that this was in the works. I knew it was being planned. I didn't know when it was coming. Like, I didn't have tons of info. I just knew it was in the works. And um, it showed up on the doorstep one day. Not literally. I mean, stuff needs to happen. <laughs> and it's kept very safely. But uh, so I didn't know what to expect. And I opened it up and it came. And I have it actually saved somewhere else. It came with a letter that. That's nice. That that kind of is like Kobe's words, right? And then let's see. Let's By the on. way, I've never seen this in person. And knowing me, I, you would think I'll see this, but you know what? We're not gonna start with these. 
first. So we start with these first. You know what I'm saying? So even though I'm not the biggest AIDS fan in the world, I mean these right here are just. I know you like to smell shit. <laughs> I know you like to smell. Those are just. So they're beautiful. They are. He actually. This is a PE. Like he actually wore this to play games. Did you know that? Oh yeah. So yeah, I think. I mean. Now, as beautiful as I think those are, and I think those are absolutely the quality is this amazing, by the way. Yeah, they're heavy. You just they're feel heavy. it. You just feel it everywhere. See so how the white upper, a little hints of gray in the midsole, the lady color here, the purple inner liner, and it's just a beauty. But he's gonna flip it up right now. <laughs> as much as we love them, and I love those, the beautiful. These are, like, I don't know. I think these are just those are gorgeous. a work of art. They're so simple, by the way. Th that's what I mean. Like sometimes, so like that's the thing. Simplicity sometimes less is more. You know, yeah. like there's nothing that's just jumping out at you. But if you look at the little detail, if you look at. I've obviously thought about wearing them because I'm like, oh man, like these are just turned everybody's heads. But then I'm just like, I, 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 if, so, if something happened, I'd melt down. But. Uh, this is, well, so this is exactly like the white cement three, basically, yep. just with the purple in the back instead of the black. Uh, the tongue is really too where I, lo I love. And the, it feels like a jersey inside of them. Yeah. Like a jersey. Like jersey material. material. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really love the tongue, the detail. So again, he wore these as well. So that's I, that. I, you're gonna have to also show me how to properly get them that <laughs> snug. Like I sort of know how to do it, but I get real. I get real lazy. I definitely leave them out for the picks first. All right. Uh, and then this is, uh, I want to say one of ten. This is one of ten right here. Right. Okay. And for those of you uh, Entourage, uh, whether you've seen it or not. Uh, By the way, if you haven't seen Entourage, there. you got to go watch Entourage. Yeah, man. Back in the day <laughs> when I was a young man. Uh, so these were the actual, it's not the actual box, but the actual sneakers that were on the show that... Uh, the Fukijama character yeah. <laughs> gives me. Only one of one. Whole. <sighs> one of one. Season three. Season what about three. Bob? Jamie the plug. Jamie the great. <laughs> Uh, so here's the box right here. It says turtle right there. What does it say on the other side? I couldn't read. Underneath? Yeah. yeah. Entourage. Okay. E N T O. Yeah, it's Entourage right there. Okay. And inside, the great artist, Mark Smith, a lot of you probably will know that name. Uh, you know, he uses, at the time, he used high end laser technology. I'm sure it's still probably. 2006. Yeah, so my things have probably not changed. But. You know, in here is the the whole pattern, and mostly everything that's on this box is on the shoe. On this shoe that you see. Now, obviously, these have never touched the ground, uh, but these are the ones that Fujijama hands me in the episode. The twenty grand, and all that stuff is here. And what the great Mark Smith did, the whole all the words that are on here, he basically called me up on the phone one day, started asking me random questions like, "What was the address?" You grew up at. Uh, it's actually there, by the way. It's on the shoe. Who's your favorite baseball player? Don Mattingly is on here. Uh, you know, what were your names when you were kids? Like your crew, your 13th Avenue boys. All that stuff is is in here, on here. Um, this is a piece of my life right here. So definitely for the little rumors, and I don't think it was a big rumor. There's a little rumor that I had sold mine. But real quick, um, so the turtle character yes. was portrayed from your buddy back in the day. Yes, one of my best friends growing up back in Brooklyn, Salvatore Asante. And it says it right here in the shoe. I'll show you guys close up pictures and footage. Um, and he's he's a character you portray on Entourage. Uh, well, you basically the quick quick story with that is uh, I had always asked Doug Allen, the show creator, like what's what's Turtle's real name? He's like, ah, yeah, see, he went through Turtle. Well, season time. eight, we'll give him a name, like joking around. And I told him, well, if I have any say. My boy who I grew up with is kind of like the inspiration for me. He was kind of like Turtle in a lot of ways. Yeah. 
So if we can name him Sal, that means a lot to me. And uh, one, day, one day I just picked up a script and I saw it in there and I like froze because uh, he's no longer here. But yeah, that's so that's my, that's if, and you see it out there, Salvatore Sante was a real person. Uh, rest in peace, he was a great, 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 great guy. Anyway. So then which leads us to the last, one. the last little piece, which, uh, you know, right around the time the Entourage movie was set, to release again i'm sure a lot of you know this name uh the shoe surgeon of course um he did you call him up or he called you up this was totally his his inspiration his world his vision like he uh he had gotten in touch and said i'm doing something cool for like the release of the entourage movie for jerry uh inspired by the fuki jamas but with my with my twist so yeah. uh I mean, this box is like even. I mean, okay, this box is that like, that shoe came with something like this on the show. On the show, this is what the box looked like. Uh, obviously, I don't have that box. That's the individual box, but um, it doesn't look like this. It, it looked like this. It said turtle like that. This box. It was, was a pop open. It was a pop open, not a slide. Yeah. Um. So my man Dominic Chambroni, who's been on my podcast before, if you haven't listened to that episode. Uh, he decided to take some ones I pulled them and uh, he pulled some of the inspiration Ooh. fumble some of the inspiration of the Fuki Jamas and then he put his shoe surgeon touch on there there's a couple of things that separate it differently from that that are shoe surgeon touch like the skull right there uh, he did his thing man and I don't like when he gave these to me uh, I was frozen. He like opened it and unveiled, and I was looking at it like. Uh, obviously, I look at sneakers like. Trying to figure out what shoe that he tore apart. Which one? I, which Jer yeah, Jordan I, one did he take apart? Yeah. I could find that out. I uh, think is it. I think is a Chicago one. Probably. It looks like the one on that. But like yeah, like uh, obviously he takes every detail from the laces to the chat. He just he's a mastermind surgeon, surgeon literally surgeon. And um, for all you out there too, these things are locked up, so don't even try and come. They're locked away. You never will find. They're he lives locked. in Montana, by the way. It's a flight. <laughs> we're, uh, we're in North Dakota right now. Um, it's cold. So, no, this is definitely. I, which one's your favorite now? It, it, it it's so hard because like. By the way, they're all dead stock. You know what dead stock means? Yes. Like brand new. So they're all on ice. So which I mean. Is it? <laughs> I mean, I can't really choose. It's like choosing between your children in a way. But like the the ones from the show that were actually on the show uh, stand out only because at the time you don't realize it's it's gonna catch on. Like we we didn't know that episode where we're waiting outside of undefeated and kind of like showing this, the sneaker culture hasn't really been shown on TV to that point on yeah, any scripted television. You know, so we were kind of the first to do it. But even still, like holding the sneaker, I was just I, like, I just thought they were dope. I'm like, wow, these are cool. I'm glad I was smart enough not to really wear them or do anything stupid. You don't know at the time it's gonna go on and sort of like become. And they look like they held up pretty good. Yeah, real good. Yeah. So, and these, you know, we're giving with the movie. So, uh, you know, they all stand out. They all have their place for me. But I didn't sell them, and I will never sell them. Five thousand. A little bit more. For sneakers. 5250 A little bit more. Jesus Christ. For sneakers, Vince, you need mental help. They're not just sneakers, E. They're wearable art. Besides, the joy the turtle's feeling right now is worth every penny. 5500 A little bit more. I'm back! Yo, you should see the shoes I just saw, bro. What? The Kobe pack? The 3 and 8? Nuts. <laughs> Jerry has it. Welcome back to real life. Oh. Turtle from Entourage, goddammit. 